Hey guys, myself Rakesh and welcome you back to my channel. Please do subscribe to my channel and hit on the bell icon to stay up to date. Today we are going to learn how do you do the climate data monitoring. To do the climate data monitoring, for example, let's say I am typing Bengaluru temperature on Google. Here I have the temperature right now 26 degree Celsius and the humidity is 69% and the wind is 14 kilometers per hour. Let's say you have to do the monitoring every hour, right? Every hour you need to document what is the current status of the climate, right? All the climate data monitoring has to be done on an Excel. So in, in this requirement, what happens? Every minute it has to type a new column as per the date and time stamp right with a date and time stamp it has to add a new column that is the first thing and the second thing it has to update the data by capturing the values from google let's say temperature this is the value humidity this is the value wind this is the value right so it has to capture those values and write it in this cells in dynamic way because next time when it runs it has to you know update here then it has to update here the column has to be updated so this becomes a very this appears to be a very simple but again when we have to design that in ui path the you know the complexity is quite large so how can you design this you know let, let me run a demo in this video right so that you have an understanding that this can be developed and you know i will also give you a couple of clues so first of all let me run this okay so now a uh, few minutes back I had made a run so there is a data now I am running it again so before that let me close the chrome okay all right so now on my taskbar the automation has started you can see it is running okay let's let's just wait okay so the automation is now typing the keyword and from here it is going to capture the required uh, ui element data and go to the excel create a dynamic um, add column it will add a column and add the data values to the dynamically okay it is everything is happening it's adding data values to the excel dynamically creating the uh, column name dynamically right so all of this are happening dynamically and you can see the values have been captured at so and so point few minutes uh, back it was at 13 kilometers per hour it is 14 kilometers humidity has dropped uh, you know temperature is almost the same so every hour this can this uh, workflow which I have created this can be scheduled and by scheduling this workflow you know every hour or every 30 minutes or every five minutes whatever that uh, every day uh, whatever that intervals are we can still capture the climate you know we'll, we can do the climate data monitoring so this requires a bit of logic of adding additional uh, dynamic columns writing the headers writing the values so um, so this is what the complexity and you have seen how this has this has been already designed so in the upcoming videos, I am going to, uh, you know, give you few because to design this entire use case, you have to know few basic things. Okay, few basics. For example, if I ask you, how do you capture the last column name? So whatever the table is, how do you get the last column name? Right? Uh, what is the column index? So couple of basic things you should know so that you will be able to design. You can't do a right cell because right cell, uh, right, the cell number, you can make it dynamically. But how can you make uh, A, B, C or for example, this cell is C2, uh, uh, C, uh, yeah. So this one, C2. So how this C2, how will you get the value of C? The next time it will become D2, it will become e, E2, F2, right? It is completely dynamic in nature. So for that, you need to know a couple of logics, which I'm going to express that in my upcoming short videos and then finally once you know all those basic things then finally i am going to create a video where we are going to 
or once you see the short videos you should try to develop on your own right on, on your own you should try to develop that and once you are uh, you have developed it then um, you know i am going to create a complete video anyone who was not able to develop this use case i am going to help you with the complete video okay so thank you guys for watching please do learn those short videos where i am going to teach you few key techniques which would help you to build this use case so please do watch my upcoming videos till then take care guys please do subscribe to my channel please do help right please do hit on the bell icon we are trying our best to get you uh, you know the useful knowledge on ui path please do subscribe and hit on the bell icon guys thank you take care we are going to meet once again in our next video